Welcome. Thank you for joining me and a, a bad guy with Rimuru Slime. Today is April 2nd, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join us anytime. Please feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment below. Click thumb up. That would be greatly appreciated. And out today, I am doing my review of The Batman. So there are spoilers. I'm just going to go through the movie. Give my rating of the movie itself. Um, it's a long movie. But I recommend if you do get to see it, watch an IMAX. You get the full experience. So starting out, um, in general, I thought the movie was a B plus A minus movie overall. Uh, the pacing in the beginning was kind of slow. I almost fell asleep, to be honest. But it did pick up self when it got to when they got to introduce the penguin and at his club, and then they introduced it got more better after it started rolling. It's like the cause effect, the car starting up. Took a little while, and then eventually got really good. So, the Batman starts off, which I kind of like in a sense. It kind of gives you already the idea. It doesn't have to go through the story of, you know, Bruce Wayne. It also pulls, well, you know, Easter eggs about naming certain characters. They don't really show the characters, but if you watch the animated series, the Batman or the Batman cartoon or you know, some comic books, it kind of fills in those those spots, also the animated movies as well. So I really like that. I appreciated that. So um, I think for comic book fans, it was really nice to have that. So what happened in the movie is uh, one of the, the current mayor dies and the Riddler introduces himself and puts down evidence. Um, one of the items is for the Batman. So the Batman is working for the city. So, um, Bruce Wayne is non-existent, so, as a human in the um, Gotham City, but people do know the Batman, and he, and he represents, when he goes to vengeance, uh, he is a symbol of vengeance, and, and justice, in a sense, but more vengeance. So... They introduce a new character. I don't think he just shows himself Riddler, but he leaves clues behind. Batman starts investigating, which leads him to the Penguin. And um, that scene was pretty interesting, where he uh, actually beats up some of the guys to get inside. <coughs> so he can talk to the Penguin. And then later he couldn't find anything, but later on in the, the movie, and you find out there's a second level where he learns from Selena Kyle, who is the um, Catwoman, that there is a secret place, and they kind of work together in regards to finding out her friend, finding her friend who's who is one of the I say high class prostitutes in regards to. Um, or call girls or whatever you can say. They didn't really say anything, but, you know, they have to do favors for money. So she actually knew the mayor, and she, they are investigating that. So in the setting, um, to lay it down, I'm just jumping all over the place. Um, Sal Moroni used to own Gotham. Um, they were able to stop Sal Maroney, um, with, uh, with the police and joint efforts and took his allegation down. They kind of portray that, you know, Gotham is getting better, but in reality it's not. And the Riddler is revealing this, showing that Gotham was built on a lie. But the irony is there's a lie under a lie and kind of connotation. And then there's like a sense of balancing of who's telling the truth. As well as a sense of duty and a sense of, um, do I really want to bring the criminal and has Batman? So I think a lot of people probably saw the deleted scene on YouTube. I saw it myself and I see why they deleted it. Uh, I think they should put it in the director cut version to have it since you watched the movie already. It's a good piece to have it. It does explain why, why Batman is having an issue with the realer because in a sense of him being vicious, uh, vengeance, the Riddler is actually getting rid of these criminals, known criminals, and killing them. Now, killing is wrong, but the idea is these people are not innocent or good. So, at the same time, why are you 
taking down an individual that taking away criminals versus going after the real criminals. Kind of like the you know, everyday life as we people sometimes have. Like, don't cops have better things to do than pull us over speed tickets? There's probably more criminals out there to you know, waste your time to better things. But besides the point, um... In the movie later on, I probably missed some stuff, so I apologize if I missed some information. But um, I'll just go cover some of my key points I pay attention to. So later on through the movie, um, through the the riddles were really good. I I really liked it. I'm not really good at riddles, so them explain the riddles. I really appreciated that and explained the riddles. Uh, I think whoever they had was really good, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting at the end of the movie that. The Joker kind of know the rules too, so I, I just thought that was kind of weird. I thought it'd be better if the Riddler said a, a riddle to the Joker, but I guess Joker knows Riddlers. Uh, spoiler at the end, but um, but later you in the movie, um, Batman finds um, find, Batman finds out really um, key information that the Wayne's um new. Um, Carmichael. Did I say his name right? Yeah, Carmichael Fal Falcone. And Bruce remembers him. And they pull this out the cartoon or the comic books where he got shot and his father saves him. And Bruce points out he was a good father. And, and then he laughs about it. Because later on he finds out. And then the Riddler exposes the, that um, the Wayne, Bruce Wayne, kind of orders a hit to silence the, the reporter because he was going to expose his wife. And. He was running for mayor, and um, he asked Carmike, Car Carmone to do something about it. But later on, you find out um, because the bomb, the real sent a bomb to kill Bruce Wayne, but Alfred opens it, and he gets wounded and almost dies, and Bruce Wayne, um, that Batman is um, worried about that, and then um, he gets a chance to talk to Bruce Wayne, and I'm not persuading. Talks to uh, Alfred about it, and Alfred explains that he's a good father. How can you a good father be, um, you know, go to Carmichael for how's Car Car Carmone? And he's like, he did it. He did, but he thought, told him not to kill him because he's trying to protect his um, wife. And this is kind of showing the borderline that you know sometimes, you know, where is the line in public figures? I understand people are public figures, but. To destroy someone, I don't know. And then even even um, I believe you can say he goes step down from mayor. So I think at a point, it shows the humanity and as well as shows the integrity of certain people. And this is even in the real world that can apply. Like, yeah, you expose a secret, but you know, if it's gonna destroy somebody to the point of wrecking something, is that something that should be exposed? Especially if they're willing to step down. And turn himself in. So he was going to turn himself in later on because of the um, thing. And then the events happened where, um, you know, in your mind, he's, his parents died. Uh, Alfred hinted that it could have been Car um, Carmone. But, um, but at the same time, it could have been just a regular thug. You know, his parents were at the wrong time and um, got robbed. So there's no real evidence of that. So, finding out that, it gave him a reassurance of his uh, faith in himself, and then there's all these evidence about finding a stool pigeon. They thought the penguin was a stool pigeon that turned on, um, as as I stated, uh, the police had a witness, Sal Maroney, um, and then they were able to get, <coughs> get him arrested and put away, and it turned out. The Batman thought it was Penguin, but it was not Penguin. It was actually Carmichael. And then Selena finds out that he's the one that kills her friend. And then um, they kind of hit more that friend. So, but that just depends on you. Um, but they, she wanted to get revenge, and um, she asked Batman for help because he's vengeance and. Um, but at the same time, Batman doesn't want to kill nobody because there's always another way. 
So he told her that he'll help her out, but he has to tell her. But she goes ahead and before him, tries to kill him, but um, who turns out to be her father. Something they pulled from the cartoon, which I, I appreciated. I thought that was good. Um, and then um, Gordon's helping him through this time. There's good interaction between them. I think some of the other characters that are in the movie that they introduced, they could have did better, but that's besides the point. Uh, they introduced another mayor, if her name is. Um, she was running against the father mayor, and then I guess she wins. She's in the leading, and she's helping out their family in the time. Okay, I'm trying to run. I should just be a standard process of but this movie. <clears throat> but, um... They find him and they capture him and bring him to the light and then he gets shot and killed and it turned out to be the ruler so they go and they saw the gun and they they find his suite and um, he was not there he was actually at a coffee shop and they found him and arrested him and um, Batman goes talks to him because he wants to talk to him and I I appreciate because I really like the ruler's outfit. Uh, but he kind of did the outfit in honor of Batman, so I'll give them credit for that for the consistency of story. But it also showed that um, Batman is not that smart because even the ruler pointed out that, um, and he got angry too because Batman, he, uh, Selena told him that he looks at the badder side of things. He don't really trust people, so he did that quirk and he attacked the ruler, called him insane and um, crazy. But it turned out he was this uh, orphan that. And, and because of the this is trust fund that his father would do to help out those in need, the city ended up using that for you know their own gain, uh, paying off you know bribes, etc., putting in their own pocket. So I'm, um, Carmichael wanted access of it, and he was basically running the city. And orphanages, basically where he grew up, people, kids died, rats bit at them. It, it was a horrible story, and he went through that. So you kind of feel like some kind of sympathy for him and he he never liked Bruce Wayne because they kept showing him that he's the orphan but who's a real orphan in regards to you know well but at the same time Bruce Wayne is orphan because in reality he he never had a father and he only realized that he had a kind of father figure when Alfred was about to disappear so uh it's the irony of things that um people that had no one to take care of him are still orphans even if it has nothing about how money to take care of you it's about state of mind and who who's with you um bruce wayne had alfred the ruler had nobody so if the ruler had someone he might have turned out differently but that was not the case and then they set up one more plot where he had and i thought the plot was kind of lame i did like the explosion where he sank up the gotham but with when he had the people that helped him, they were like, they were just like regular people. I know they were supposed to be regular people, but they they weren't armed as criminals, and I'm assuming that's why um, they wanted not to have them have machine guns and stuff. So to show that these are regular people, and I guess if you, if that's the case that they're trying to go for, then they will, they did the right direction. But he led it where he'll sink off them. Everyone go to one place and they're going to massacre the people by shooting them. And the and the mayor to make the Gotham pay for their crimes. And Batman figured it out because the ruler helped him with the, um, reminding him about the evidence. And he was able to find it. And then um, he almost died in the movie. Save. Save. But um, it, was, it was kind of, um, say, try to be realistic. But at the same time, it's kind of like to your unbelief that his suit can take so much shots and he can take so much shots and then some characters like I know, you know I think everyone did a great job acting but some of the costume designs I, I didn't really appreciate they're not that great but in the context of the movie I, I think it's good but it's funny that out of all the characters Batman was the most, most complete character and everyone else looked like um, cosplay people <laughs> like he he stand tall and I love the scene and I liked it um probably didn't pick on but 
Selena was asking him what he looked like under the mask, and he said, "Are you? Do you have like a hideous scar?" And they actually played it, and he said, "Yes, I did." So I kind of hinted on the whole uh, trying to wear a mask, and I also appreciate that he uh, put black eyeliner around his eyes, so you can't see what color his skin is. Um, even though you can see his mouth, which is uh, which I see no. And you just see the eye. He's like, "Why? Why did you paint that? Might as well paint your, you know, have some kind of covering over your mouth area, but." That's besides the point, but <laughs> um, I did like the scene where he jumped up the building when he was escaping the cops, um, and he did. Um, they try to make it realistic the flying squirrel aspect where people have it, and he was successful. He actually had bounced off the um, a sign and hit the hit the bus and rolled off to the side. So, but overall, as I stated, the movie was great. Um, nine, A minus, B plus movie. So. Um, not the best, but hopefully they'll come out with the next movie um, in a year or two. If any longer than that, then it's not worth it's not worth my time. Uh, appreciate it. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, thank you. Uh, and next week I'll have more unbox opening on anime figures. Have a bad day, not me. Good day. Take care. See you later. Bye.